were going to give you a tour of the outside first, but it's bloody miserable outside, so you better come inside. Everyone likes to feel their curiosity of what the inside of a narrow boat looks like. So today, here's a sneak peek of Signet, my home. Signet is a 30-foot narrow boat with a traditional layout. This is our saloon area, something that we did not have before on Badger. What I love most about this cozy space is that it's multifunctional. So it can be my office, coffee time, or just spending time with my husband. Oh, beautiful. Very nice. But there's no hot sauce mm. And this is our galley. Small stove, two burners, oven and grill. Stainless sink with drainage area, storage cupboards for utensils, supplies, a small refrigerator, and a pantry. And nowhere to prep. Wow. And our tiny little bathroom, which is an efficient use of a compact space with a cassette toilet, a small sink, and a shower with an overhead shower bow. And here you have a much easier access to emptying the toilet than it was on Badger. And a bedroom with a comfy bed and additional storage at the end. And beneath here is more storage with a drawer spaces and an empty slot for larger baths. One of the other things I like about this boat is every single light fitting has a USB port both in the saloon area and also above each pillow space, I suppose. So rather than a dedicated space for charging your iPads and phones etc like we had on Badger no matter where you are on the boat well at least wherever you park your bum there is somewhere to charge your appliances all right so this is the bow of Signet and this is where we would fill up with water and also it is where the main hookup is which we never used on Badger uh, and it's a luxury that we're going to try not to get used to but it is quite nice having unlimited power as uh, Emperor Palpatine would say. And then on the stern, okay, in the stern area, we've got a covered area here as well. We do have a cratch cover for the bow, we've taken it off because it was pretending to be uh, spring for a while and it's now gone back to, to winter. Stern here is obviously where I'll be driving Signet from and we've got a gas locker here and we've also got my engine controls here and the engine is beneath me but I'll do more about the engine in the next vlog because th those kind of things deserve a vlog to themselves really. So our second boat but our third engine and it is a bit of a mess in here at the moment because we're not moving all the time and we're still trying to sort of square away the stuff that we had on Badger that we had in storage and obviously our own personal belongings and seeing what will work on the boat and what won't work on the boat but we're getting there slowly and we'll soon be off all right well it's been lovely showing you around Signet uh, she's a little larger than Badger was those of you that have been following us since uh, we were on Badger any questions you got about anything we may have missed ping us a message or wait till we do a live stream in a few weeks time and ask us in real time but uh, that's basically it. It's a small tour of a small boat. Before we go though, I've had a few more people use the buy me a coffee link in the description. And that's Amy, Amy in Ithaca in New York. Cheers, Amy, much appreciated. So we've uh, got a bottle of wine for Camille. And also Dom in Somerset, beautiful. Thanks very much. So I'll get those postcards out to you as soon as possible. Okay guys, until next week, I'll leave you with the montage.